What's going on, everybody? It's Matt, it's Collie, and uh, boy, Collie, we, we have found a beautiful spot, but it wasn't easy to get to. No, we had to drive 30 miles to get here. On now, a dirt road. 30 miles on a dirt road. Okay, let's 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 get that right. And guys, again, between the towns of Wallace and Avery, Idaho, in the panhandle of this beautiful state, and we have found some amazing scenery. And we're gonna share it with you. Enjoy. We'll see you at the end. One of the things you'll notice around Avery are the tunnels. Originally built and used by the railroad, they're now simply a part of the roads, the dirt roads anyway, and hiking and biking excursions on what's known as the Hiawatha Trail nearby. Very cool, but yeah, I'd say a little creepy as well. Now let's talk about the little town of Avery. Population of 25 permanent residents. Elevation over 2,500 feet up in the mountains of Idaho. It was a big railroad town from the early 1900s to about 1980. In fact, this rail car, a big attraction. You can actually walk through it and see some of the history of the railroad. The town sits along the St. Joe River, an outdoor lover's paradise. We also found a great spot to grab some food called the TFP. The pizza and fried chicken were delicious. And of course, a little something cold to wash it down with. And I have to say the people of Avery were absolutely awesome. They were welcoming, they were kind. Just what you would expect from a small town in Idaho. So we set up camp at a great little campground off of the beaten path. It was only $10 a night. It had a bathroom, it was quiet, it was perfect. Now, when we got up in the morning to head out to our hike, you could really see and smell the smoke in the air from some nearby wildfires. It would eventually lift and become a beautiful day. And then we arrived at our destination, trail number 17, a few miles drive along the St. Joe River outside of Avery. First thing you have to do is cross the river over this suspension bridge. And yes, it does sway. safely across you were on the trail a gradual ascent up the side of a mountain notice all of the downed trees victims of previous windstorms among some other things but this trail was very well shaded it was well kept all in all not that strenuous of a hike again it went uphill pretty consistently but it wasn't very steep it was a gradual uphill hike these are bug repellent bracelets by parakeeto this is the kid's one because I have a small wrist. But supposedly these little capsule things have the bug repellent in them and you can put new ones in all the time. Once you go the two or so miles up, you are treated to this amazing view, looking down on the St. Joe River and all of the rugged mountains that surround it. Well, we made it to the top and the view is spectacular. The St. Joe River down behind us, still smoky though, obviously that's been a factor on this particular hike, hasn't it? Yeah, and it affects your breathing for sure. Mm -hmm. Overall, Kali, uh, when you rate this hike, you look at the overall uh, difficulty, the scenery, and maybe the maintenance of the trail on the Kali scale, what would you give it out of 10? Well, with this great view, definitely a seven. The trail was well maintained, um, not a lot of traffic, and pretty beautiful scenery, for yeah, sure. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and the beginning was interesting with the swinging bridge. That was kind of a neat touch. So yeah, Trail 17 here outside of Avery, Idaho. Not too shabby, highly recommend it. Uh, come check it out, not that hard to do. And guys, we'll put the links to some of the, the gear that we use from shoes to Collie's, you know, insect repellent. We'll put that in the description section. So thanks for watching and we'll catch you in our next one. Bye. Bye.